Ivory. So instead of talking about him, I'd love to bring him out here. One of Hollywood's nicest gentlemen and one of Hollywood's most familiar faces, Roddy McDowell. Well, uh, how have you been? Well, I've been just fine. You know, you're looking wonderful, Carol. Oh, thank you. I... <laughs> well, so are you, Roddy. Well, I should. I just spent the weekend in Palm Springs. I was working on my tan. Well, I think you succeeded. <laughs> um, Roddy, you, you've done so many wonderful films. I was just curious, and I'm sure the audience is, too. Uh, is there any one particular film that has influenced your life in any way? There most certainly is, Carol. There is one movie I made that had a profound influence on my life. And if you don't mind, right now, I'd like to do a scene from that movie. Oh, <laughs> oh thank goodness. That's, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, okay. Go right ahead, Roddy okay. McDowell. <laughs> Oh, great and beautiful Cleopatra, the Roman legions are advancing. <laughs> they will soon overthrow thy throne. There is only one escape. Quickly, hide behind the pyramids. Roddy, uh, am I, that's a scene from Cleopatra. Well, yes, Carol, that is my favorite film. And that's the one that's had the greatest influence on you? Well, yes, Carol, that's... Carol, look, <clears throat> why are you staring at me like this? I mean, it, you know, it really is terribly embarrassing. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it is rude of me. I was... Oh. Roddy, um, would you like to see yourself right now on television? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd like that a lot. I, th yeah. I think it would do you a great deal of good. Okay. Why don't you go over here to the monitor? Just uh, look at yourself there. Carol! Roddy! Yeah. Carol, why didn't you tell me? Well, I... Look, I've got a smudge on my chin. What <laughs> doing on your show with a smudge on my chin? That's terrible. <laughs> That's better. Now, what about our duet? <laughs> you, uh, you, you want to do a duet? You still do? Well, sure. Don't you? <sighs> okay, you're a guest. <laughs> Exactly like you. I'm not much to look at, nothing to see. Just glad I'm living and lucky to be. But I got a woman <laughs> for me. She's funny that way. And when I told them, and when I told them, how wonderful you are. How wonderful you are. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. Your lips, your eyes, your ears, your hair are in a class beyond compare. You're, You're the, the loveliest, loveliest thing that one could see. We will raise a family, a boy for you, a girl for me. Can't you see how happy we would be? Hey. Oh, speak low huh? when you speak low. <laughs> Just hold me, hold me, oh, dear. And hold me, the, the stars fill the sky. So in love, 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 with you, my love. <laughs> you know, you are kind of cute. 
what a wonderful gentleman and sport Roddy is. Uh, it takes you how long to get into this makeup? Uh, about three and a half hours. Three and a half hours he has been in makeup for just these few minutes out here together. He will be back in the flesh a little bit later <laughs> on in this show. But I thought it would be interesting. Uh, Roddy was kind enough to bring a, a little short uh, film of uh, showing you how what happens when he gets into this makeup. And if the folks uh, here will watch the monitors, and of course you folks at home watch your television sets if they're on. And uh, uh, I have a very brave friend called Paul Anderson who got up at 3 o'clock in the morning to take these. That's Joe LaBella starting with the first. This is the first part of the like makeup. like a clown right there. Yeah, the makeup <laughs> in three basic sections. You see that? The, uh, then you put all that junk all over you. And the ears are separate. And then there's a chin piece that will go on. You'll see in one uh -huh. there. And then after that, there's the wig and toupee. And then all the individual hair pieces that are put on. And they black out your own teeth on the bottom. Uh, yes, that's rather disgusting, yeah. Uh -huh. That's very nice. And then one minute is uh, three hours' work, you see. Uh -huh. And then the hand toupees, which I'm not wearing tonight. Yeah. And uh, oh, there, that's there it there, goes. There's blacking out the teeth. That's right. Well, you couldn't eat when you did that, could you? No, not really, because uh, it, it just gets very messy and breaks the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That is really cute. <laughs> well, you should, uh, right now, you should go and get all that off so you can be back with yeah, us. Yeah, but you've been such fun. I think you deserve at least one ear. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>